gonna take to this day and just eat whatever I want. So I woke up around 7.30 today, went to a donut shop, picked up a lot of different donuts, and then Shelby was so kind to make breakfast. So what we have are some eggs, we have hash browns, we have bacon, we have banana cornmeal pancakes, which sounded amazing. We got the recipe off of Tasty. And for donuts, I got a big cinnamon roll, I got glazed donuts, I got a cookie monster donut, got a maple bacon donut, and then got a peanut butter perfection donut. All this looks amazing. Gosh, that is like biting, I mean it is, biting into just <laughs> chunks of chocolate. That's good, but wow, that's so sweet. That's what you want. Oh my gosh, <laughs> no, that's too sweet. Wow, and we got two of those. Whoa. That is just biting into some chunks. Ooh, it's good though. Oh, you could never eat two of those. Man, that's, yeah, that's peanut butter frosting on that. So super, super sweet, but gosh, that's good. So we just got done tearing up breakfast. I think we did pretty good, actually. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be impressed. Uh, of course, did not eat all the donuts. Uh, ate most of the pancakes. Shelby left some. I cleaned my plate. I hate leaving food, but there's no way, <laughs> no way right now that I'm gonna finish that. Uh, so now I'm gonna go into food coma for a little bit <laughs> at 9.30. <sighs> It was delicious, but oh my gosh, now I got a sugar high. Two hours later. So we've just been sitting down relaxing, and now it's like 11.35. Brady took his first nap, and we've been picking uh, at this food, and pretty much got done with all the donuts, uh, except the glazed, and we have two more over there in a bag, a chocolate one and another glazed one, but we did some damage over here. What's going on, everyone? I know most of y'all love a good arm workout, and this is a great one. Now, if you follow me on my Instagram at Able Body Gym, uh, then you've probably already seen this workout, but for my YouTube peeps, this is for you. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this workout. So this is a little bit different. So I started off with two heavy lifts, uh, both with uh, biceps and triceps, and then I went and did all triceps and then went on to biceps later on. So the very first exercise, as you saw, was an easy bar curl. I did five sets of 10 to 12 reps, superset with these easy bar skull crushers for five sets of 10 to 12 reps. And on the last set, uh, both of those exercises, I did a double drop set. So I would go from the curls straight into the easy bar skull crushers, and those were the heavy lifts. And then after supersetting both those uh, back to back, then went on to just triceps to focus on triceps for, I think, maybe three exercises. And as you're watching right now, it was the cable straight bar push downs underhand grip. Uh, four sets of 10 to 12 reps, so working in that hypertrophy range. And then on the last set of those, did a double drop set. After that, went into dumbbell seated overhead extensions, five sets of 10 to 12 reps, and on the last set did just a single drop set. So when I do overhead extensions with a heavy dumbbell, I like to have a bench supporting me. Some people do it standing, uh, that's great and all, but you're not gonna be able to lift really heavy. So if you have a bench that's gonna support you, you can lift heavier uh, while you're doing this overhead extension because it's gonna keep your back upright and you don't have to focus on standing and balancing yourself. Uh, so after that, went into rope cable pushdowns, seven sets of these, so tons of sets of 10 to 15 reps, and only resting for 45 seconds in between sets, so not resting very long at all. 
Uh, the rest of the time uh, for the other exercises, I was resting for around one minute. So this is like an FST seven uh, set is the seven sets and uh, 12 to 15 reps and only resting for 45 seconds. I like uh, Haney Rambot. I think that's how you say his name. I like his style when he does the seven sets. So after that, we went into biceps. Four sets of 10 to 15 reps. Uh, so I'm curling both arms at the same time. And then when I hit failure, curling both arms at the same time, then I went into alternating uh, for as many reps as I could get. And Typically, I will uh, be able to get out maybe another three to four reps on uh, each arm. So that's the reason why I like doing that, just to kind of do like a drop set almost. Uh, and then on the last set of those, I did do a triple drop set with the dumbbell curls. After that went into, uh, this is like, it's not a preacher curl because it's, uh, you know, the bench is straight up. I'd like to call them a dead hang curl. So I did a hammer grip on here, uh, three sets of 10 to 12 reps on each arm. Uh, so as you can see, just going down, trying to keep it under control the whole entire time, squeezing, uh, and then of course went on to the other arm. So I do the right arm, then the left arm rest for around uh, one minute. And then I would start on the left arm the next time just to switch it up a little bit. Uh, because if you do, if you start off with uh, the same arm every single time, uh, then that arm is going to be a little bit uh, stronger than the other arm. So I like to each set, if I'm doing alternating, uh, then I like to alternate what arm I start with on the next set. After that, went into uh, cable curls uh, with the easy bar, seven sets of 12 to 15 reps. So exactly the same thing I did with the rope earlier, only resting for around 45 seconds in between uh, those sets. And that is the end of the workout, guys. If you wanna give this workout a shot, scroll down in the description box. It'll be written out down there. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see y'all next time. All right, guys, peace. Oh my gosh.